Postman Pat invites you to guess with Jess. Top of the morning to you. My name is Postman Pat and today I would like to invite you to spend some time with my black and white cat Jess. She uses her knowledge of percentiles, box plots and skewness to choose between two types of trout. Pat and I had just returned from our trip to Rio, a trip which had given us much to reflect upon and a new emphasis with which to lead our lives. Pat approached his job with an almost zealous-like passion to save the world. He rescued Mr Taylor's wheelchair-bound daughter Lizzie for the ninth story of an infernal block of flats. He helped to perform open heart surgery with Dr Gilbertson or Mrs Goggins and he helped Ted Glenn the handyman remove the lead from Reverend Timms's church roof in order to save the environment. I, on the other hand, sought the finest trout I could lay my paws on. So today I have brought you to our local trout farm to compare rainbow trout and brown trout. I have already caught and measured the lengths of 15 of each. For today's statistical analysis I am going to calculate the quartiles and some other percentiles, then draw box plots and consider the skewness. Firstly, of course, we need to plot the data in order. To find the quartiles, Q1, Q2 and Q3, for a list of data items, you need to find a quarter, a half and three quarters of the number of data items. If the answer is ever an integer, you find the value halfway between the term donated by that position and the next. However, for these 15 fish, all these values are non-integers, in which case you always, without fail, are round up. Just to show that anything a postman can do, so can a cat, I'm now going to work out the 6th decile at 60% of 15 and the 34th percentile at 34% of 15. This time one of the values is an integer, so, as I said before, we find the value halfway between the item donated by that position and the next. Let us just pause for a moment to examine the rainbow and brown trout in all their scaly glory and inhale their fishy fumes. <sighs> Lovely. I should tell you, by the way, being the sidekick of a statistician, I prefer my fish to be symmetric. So let's kick on and compare them. So I've used the quartiles and the extreme values to plot a box plot. Trust me when I say there aren't any outliers. Before I talk about skew, I just ought to say that I found the mean and mode 2. For the rainbow trout, the mean is 22 inches and the mode is 22 inches. For the brown trout, the mean is 21 inches and the mode is 25 inches. I love skewness almost as much as I love fish. With some quick and easy rules, you can check how symmetrical your data is. I am going to share two techniques with you. Technique 1. Compare Q3 minus Q2 and Q2 minus Q1. For the rainbow trout, Q3 minus Q2 is 2, and Q2 minus Q1 is 2. So Q3 minus Q2 is Q2 minus Q1. Since they're the same, the data is symmetric. Yum! For the brown trout, Q3 minus Q2 is 3, and Q2 minus Q1 is 6. So Q3 minus Q2 is less than Q2 minus Q1. This is negative skew, not so yum. My second technique is awesome because it requires a coincidence in the English language to make it work nicely. We compare the mean, median and mode in alphabetical order. Technique 2. Compare the mean, median and mode. For the rainbow trout, the mean is 22, the median is 22 and the mode is 22. Since they're the same, the data is symmetric. Yum! For the brown trout, the mean is 21, the median is 22 and the mode is 25. So the mean is less than the median is less than the mode. Negative skew again. Not so yum. So what a fun day we've had, and it turns out that I will be dining exclusively on the symmetric rainbow trout from now on. Another adventure has ended for me, Jess, whilst Pat sets about on his own misplaced agenda to cure the world's ills. Yes, we got it.